Cassandra's house. Can I show you? No. <laughs> Your house has been messy. Okay, well. So we went to Michael's. He got some goodies for a project he's working on. And then he was like, since we're there, go to the bookstore. So I'm going to quickly show you what I got. Yeah, I need a tripod. I need a brown. Oh, thank you. Check that. Like. <laughs> um, wow, this is a bad angle, but that's okay. We got a haul. And I don't mind buying these because I had a gift card. And because I'm selling a bunch of books. So, yeah. They were, and I only paid like 10 something for them. So, yeah. So we got Take Me Apart by Sarah Sing Sing Sing. Cigar? Cigar. Sarah, Sarah S. <laughs> um, this is like a thick kid. I think it's like a mystery kind of thing. Something to mix it up because Cassie wanted me a book I talked about in my, on my vlog earlier. And um, I really, really enjoyed it. Sorry, you can have your laptop back in a second. <laughs> And then I got to, okay, we know who I am and how I love these kind of books. So we got Home Front Girls. Um, this is January 1943 um, during the Second World War. Um, yeah, just about friendship, letters, and yeah. You know me, I like these kind of books, and I wanted to see what it'd be like. And they were three for ten dollars, so why not? And then this one, I mainly bought it for the cover. Cassandra's laughing at me because, like, anything that was, like, Paris related, I'm like, ugh, 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 like a five-year-old. This is called, uh, The Lost Girl in Paris. I think I said that. This is Paris 19, in, well, I can't read. 1940 as Nazi patrol, patrol the streets in, uh, yeah, in Paris. And uh, like I said, we know me and my historical fiction, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I looked all these up on Goodreads, and they had pretty good reviews. So we're, yeah, we're good there. So yeah, I wanted to show you the books, say hi. I have friends. I'm in a different room. I'm out of my bedroom. <laughs> I'm in a different house, I can't say. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to chill for a bit and whatever. And then um, he's going to kick me out of the house and I got to go home. I got to see my, my babies. Oh, and I got my babies something, too. Um, I got them a raised bowl, like water bowl and food for their, yeah, water and food. So... Yeah, I think today was a productive day. I didn't get anything I didn't need. I mean, I didn't need the books, but why not, right? So, yeah. Uh, oh, I, that's all I have. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys. Um, I'm home now from Cassandra's. It's like... Well, I just had a shower. And it's 12.30 a.m., um, I know I already showed these to you guys at Cassandra's. Um, I was on the subway and I I started a little bit of Take Me Apart by Sarah Cigar. Um, what I was doing, so they had a table full of like buy three for ten dollars. That's my favorite table to go to because like you get so much for your money, like regular for this book, it would be $23. And it was $6. Um, and then I hate stickers on my, on my books. And then like, um, so this one is, um, it's like a crime novel. So, um, it, so I'm going to read the uh, blurb on the back. So it says, When the famed uh, photographer Miranda Brand died mysteriously at the height of her career, 
half length throughout uh, throughout Cal Cal Calinas, California. Decades later, old wounds were reopened when her son Theo hires her at the ex journalist Cake Atkins to archive his mother's work and personal effects. When Kate sorts through the vast maze of material con contents with the his rumors and how the details of Miranda's private life, he pieces together a portrait of a vibrant artist buckling under the pressure of a his motherhood and marriage. But Kate has secrets of her own, including a growing attraction to the enigmatic Theo. <laughs> I love that his name Theo and my cat's name Theo. And when the and when he stumbles across Miranda's diary, her curiosity spirals into the, his obsession. A seductive, twisting tale of psychological suspense. Take me apart paints a vivid picture of two darkly mag uh, magnetic young women facing the demons of different decades. So yeah. Seemed interesting. It got pretty good reviews on Goodreads, and I'm honestly, when I read that book, uh, one book, uh, I think it's called Before I Wake Up or Before He Wakes Up, that was so good. And I'm trying to find crime mystery novels that I really like. So I was like, this one seemed the most interesting to me, so I picked it up. Sorry, my phone's blowing up, so you can hear it go off. I am so sorry. Uh, this one is, um, <coughs> Historical Fiction by Susanna Hayes and Loretta Nathan, I think. Um, in January 1943, when Rita, I'm not going to say her last name, received her first letter from Gory of Whitehall. Gory is a effervescent. Young mother from New England, impulsive and free as a bird, Rita is a Midwestern professor's wife with a love of gardening and a generous old soul. These two women have nothing in common except one powerful bond. The men they love are fighting in a war, a world away from home, brought together by an unlikely twist of fate. Glory and Rita begin a remarkable correspondence. Uh, the friend hit forth by their letters allow them to survive the loneliness and uncertainty of waiting on the home front. It gives them the courage to face the battles raging in their very own backyards. Connected across the country by the lifeline of the written word, each woman, woman finds her life profoundly altered by the other's unwavering support. So yeah, that had a really good review as well. And you know me, I love a good historical novel. And then the last one, which I honestly really picked up because of the cover. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, I don't know why. Um, this one, um, The Lost Girl in Paris by Tina Bacar. Uh, Paris 1940, as Nazi patrols the street, Tiana is desperate and on the run after defending herself against the force of an officer. <coughs> he must find a new identity to survive. Now, a perfumer by the name of Antilene de Cardu, he cannot forget what happened to her, but revenge can be dangerous against her game. game. And he can only hire true identity for so long before her past got his up with her with devastating consequences. Paris 2003, when aspiring journalist Emma Keane had the opportunity to interview world renowned perfumer Madame de, de Kier about her life during the second of during World War Two, nothing could prepare her uh, for an healing story. It will change her life forever. Yeah, so it says perfect for fans of Suzanne Goldring and Ella Carey. So hopefully I like it. Like I said, I was uh, looking up reviews online when I was like looking at them. 
and uh, the type of good reviews as well. And yeah, that was my, my little purchase of the day. I did buy the cat's, um, like, new, um, like a bowl, like, but it's like raised. Um, they're very uncertain about it. I put water in them for now to see if they'll get used to it, but I do have, like, their food and their, like, I, I have a, like, their old water beside it. So they, like, if they don't like it, you know, I'm going to take it to a couple of days. They're both, like, very afraid of it, but it's kind of not funny, but it's kind of, it kind of is. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that was my day. Um, after we went to the bookstore and my goals and stuff, ran some errands with Cassie. We went back to her place, had a cider. And then we just basically talk, like, you get Cassie and I together, and we do not shut up. Um, we have so much to talk about, like, even if we see each other every day, or talk every day, we still have so much to say. So, yeah. I'm gonna go and relax and read one of my books and try and get some sleep. I have a bit of a headache, but I think it's because I haven't had a proper meal. So, I might... I might make something quick. Um, I don't know if I should. I might just have like, I have some like fruits cut up, so I'll cut them up and, or not cut them up, um, put some in a bowl and eat that for like my dinner. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, I'm gonna go try to get some sleep, answer all these messages. Apparently I have, I have apparently a lot of messages, so I'm gonna go answer them. Try to get some sleep. I love you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in minutes. Or I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Bye. <laughs>
so I forgot to film this earlier. It's like after nine, but I went out for a, like a coffee hat gossipy date with Horace. And this is the dress that I wore. This is one of the ones from Han. And I like it. I mean, it's still kind of see my belly, but it's comfortable, it's woolly. Um, when I tried it on, uh, like when I first got it, I was really not that into it because I was worried like it'd be too big, but I threw it in the wash. It did shrink down a little bit and it could shrink a little more, but I love how like flowy it is and I feel like, you know, I didn't, I didn't don't feel like suffocated, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is my new dress. And I work hard for me, so, you know, got it like, it hits right under my knee. So, like, and I think this is the 2X, but, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go have a shower, relax. I'm off for the next two days. By the way, hi, vlog. I haven't talked to you since Saturday, but that's okay. Um, it's Tuesday, so it's not like it's been that long, but hi, it's me. Um, yeah, so I worked from 9 to 4, and then Oris and I went for coffee after. I think I met her about like 5.30. I got home at like around 8.30, and um, I filmed a video, and uh, yeah. I eat when we were out, so I might not eat like a dinner. I might just have like cheese and crackers or something. But yeah, so that's where we're at. I just wanted to show you my outfit because I love this dress so much. Yay, the winner. We love a winner.